Hello, in this video, we will see how we can add domain to a, a panel. So let's get started. This is the domain part, I mean the website part where we can add new website or new domain. But before doing that, we will need to map DNS to this a, a panel. For that, we'll go to DNS management of the specific domain. I'm taking the example of worksuit.xyz and here we will add a record pointing to the IP of a, a panel, which is this IP. Let me copy this IP and let me recreate one A record and it will be at and the IP is with this. Let's save it and wait for few time. So now I have added the A record. Now it will take some time for the DNS propagation. After that, we can uh, simply uh, go to here to the website, add site and from here we will be adding worksuit.xyz and the description keep it as a domain website path as such do we want to create any website for now let's ignore this for now we will see this in the next step so let's click on confirm so now the website is created here let me go to the files of this cell so here are the files yeah, we can see when clicking the files, here are the files. In the files, we have an index.html file, which will be, so here it says, site is created. Congratulations, site is created. So whenever we are going to open the w, uh, w worksuit.xyz, means this website, in the URL, we will be getting that message. But for that, DNS propagation has to be completed. Let me open. So it seems the DNS has been completed and we are able, we are getting the message that was there. Congratulations, the site is created. Means DNS is now completed. Let's also see how we can configure SSL on this domain. So since it is a root domain, means we don't, or subdomain, means it is not a wildcard subdomain. It, so it's very straightforward for that. We'll go to configuration here and from here we'll go to SSL and select let's encrypt and from here select the domain that you have just created and click apply and apply and open. Let's wait for a while. It's attempting. Verification is successful as you can see. Now it's downloading the certificate and uploading the certificate to that folder so let's re reopen the website and see we are able to open this with https so as you can see we are able to open the application with https so ssl is also now configured now what we can do is let let me open so here as we can see if we are opening opening the application here with http it's redirecting but earlier it was not redirecting let me go back to that part so if, if it's not redirecting what you will do is we'll simply click on force https so it will redirect the http all http request to https so this is for now in this specific video in the next video we will see other things